Feel great. Cover two. Father traded with the elves, told us he had kissed Stop. sweet yeah. Anna, said he had seen a giant in the woods. Well, one day we decided we would see him. So we dared him to take us to the place he Run saw the, the giant. Sail. He twisted and turned, but at last he agreed. The thing is, I had been out there all ready. I had taken up a big rock and made footprints in the soft earth. Heels and toes. <laughs> Giant's feet. When he saw those prints, he went white as a virgin's bridges. Everyone made out they were scared. And then... Who's that walking through my wood? I howled from the trees, and I thrashed the branches all around. Glory screamed like a maiden and here. took to his heels. By the smell of it, he emptied his arse on the way. He told us afterwards he knew it was a trick, but he never did go near those woods again.
low sips often. It helps the bruise. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asks for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent. Faravid has planned an attack on the Picts at Magnus. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again, at a place called the Walls. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. He'll be on top. Going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton.
Run up the sail! Sing, my ravens. Oh, this is... 
Need your eyes. Eivor, <laughs> welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? He gave your goblet little more than a second glance. He rants and broods in his high tower. Was Halfton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be.
A Jarl is owed the spoils of war, to spend as he sees fit. So it has always been. That may be so, but Hafton hoards our wealth for himself, sharing neither gold nor glory. What is this place? I expected an army, ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Best not fall off your horse. See you in Yorick. Faster, Eivor! Ride like Slaveners do! Faster, Eivor! Ride like Slaveners hoofs! Your horse is slow, and her ride is drunk. It's not a fool. Fly, my friend! Fly! Show Faravid our asses! <laughs> Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Yarl? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. But... Fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. If they see me, this will get messy. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since Alvin, the speed that I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with it. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? 
Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishia cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me? I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Greatest snake in Northumbria, that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we fortify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it. And I know just who to speak with. Kjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Kjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. You are better under Arden. You're yours. Just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of... Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. 
To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Halfdan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself. You will be taking quite a risk. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. You think you can go to the grub? Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhysia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm, yes, yes. Well... If Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? We all fight for Hafton and for Nosombria. Loyal to the bone, aren't you? Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care.
asked about this lab, my friend. Moira is not here. This letter came from Weekend. She must have gone there. I should go to Wiki. Find Moira. Small village. Moira's house must be near. There is much honor to be earned be here, should you call again. My eyes, Sudan. Yeah! What is this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. 
I'm as good with words as I am with weapons. It will take some convincing, but I can talk my way out of this. Lead on then. I shall follow. Go home, all of you. This woman is in my care now. Who died and made you sovereign of Northumbria now? I am the wolf kissed, killer of men, feeder of ravens. Stand back, or I will wear your bones as ornaments. Jesus, e ease up now. We was only protecting our hamlet here. Tell Hafton he can have her. Leave this woman alone. Even look her way again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. Be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean his touch in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs. Nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. To the Swan Road! We must row in these waters. Sing us a song. We need an epic tale. More sail! I came to England too late. That is the problem. The sons of Ragnar have shorn her of all possible glory. Everywhere I go, I find the footprints of men and women who were there before me. In my first weeks, I gathered many men and took them breathing. I lost my heart to an elderman's wife. Kidnapped her away. But even that was not enough to raise the name of Rolo. Let the sail out! Other names but mine ring on the tongues of the skulls. Hafden. Uba, Guthrum, and Eivor the Wolf Kissed. Like the trees of a great forest, they shade those beneath. Nothing more grows. This land is full. Its glories are spent. I need to look to other shores, where I will write my saga into history. What are you doing? Who's out there? Hafton, good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Hey, Vor, Search the perches and lookouts here. We could be spying from above. Olav! Speak to us! Survey the area soon. <laughs> 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 He's 
clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. <coughs> Beanton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Paint the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the ice of this, this goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. There'll be more rooms beyond. Eivor, something is Give happening. me a hand! Hold on, we'll find a way through. Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. By plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day, decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. She also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh! Listen. 
These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with mead. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacaster, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me, I, I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? His forces are gathering at Stenweyer. It's from there he plans to attack the Picts at Magnus. Hmm. I see. Say nothing of what you told me. He must not know that I'm aware of his plan. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It should be waiting at Stenway. Run up the sail! Sing, my ring. Sail out. Sing.
can't raise the sail yet. Strike up a tune. To your friend. Who will share a tale? There was a woman here, called here. Nor, who came by ship to Thornburg, a herald, demanding to meet King Sigvald, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When her message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full Raise day. The mass. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, sail. and That's still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward, swinging a large, bloodied sack before her. Nal opened the sack and emptied it on the shore. Seven pairs of hands tumbled to the ground. Nal then mounted her ship and sailed away. <laughs> Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Enjoy us. Stay home.
this plan. I feel uneasy. Faith in it. Part of its plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Part of its army. Amor, over here. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. I came here for Hafton, to prove my worth and loyalty to him. You brought this down upon yourself. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Yulfina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. came in great numbers. They came to fight. <laughs> Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken!
The Picts remember this in their hell! The victory! Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon, you will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness, a, a cave. 
Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Shake asses with you. But, but what? I've never danced with anyone before. Moira, is Halfton about? Eivor, welcome. Halfton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. I struggle to be surprised. I was caught. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. must come soon I'll save some for later let's make a king of you
to Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Sheath your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old man. Treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my arm. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the corpse hall. It's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him.
Need something forged? Good day. Is Gunnar about, or did he leave and not mention it? My name is Rima, and Gunnar is a good friend of mine. Ask me to run his shop while he's away. It is good to meet you, and strange to see Gunnar away from his forge. Well, as far as I know, he's got a very compelling and beautiful reason for his absence. So here I am. Well, if Gunnar has faith in you... Then I say you have fine taste. I would like to see what you have in stock. May I see you? You should buy that. I'll be sure to keep these in stock for you. A smart gun sh I hope to see you... Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. But Holger's stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. 
Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Eivor. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. The scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and... I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, I Stop! Was... Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holgate, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law. Whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my Jarl. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Greetings. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not. 
in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jovik's Shire to meet Halfton Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfton the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunner's keeper. Very generous of you. Make 